This utility says it's outsourcing 200 Connecticut jobs to two companies in India. Now, these are IT jobs that the state's largest utility says will, in fact, save money. It's also part of the company's big merger with Boston-based Instar. News H chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more on what the company and political leaders are saying about the deal. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Keith and Sonia. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, when, whenever anybody gets a pink slip, especially in a down economy, it's always really, really tough. But NU says this is a move that has to be made and that you, the ratepayers, will not tell the difference. Northeast Utilities will be looking for up to $300 million in rate hikes next year to help pay for tree trimming and new transmission lines, and over $400 million for recovery costs from the autumn nor'easter two years ago and Superstorm Sandy last year. Memories are still fresh for many that lost power for long periods of time following those storms. Communication problems with Northeast Utilities CL&P were faulted for the slow restoration of power. Most assessments said they did a better job following Sandy. During all this, the Berlin-based utility was merging with Boston-based NSTAR, becoming the largest utility in New England. So the news that they are now planning to outsource 400 IT employees, 200 here in Connecticut, to two companies in India has set off alarms. We certainly let it be known that, that uh, this is, we're not happy. Um, uh, this is not a way to treat your employees, in, in my opinion. I've heard from almost 200 people, either by email, by phone calls. I've found letters left on my windshield at home. The attorney general who helped negotiate the merger deal says he's been assured Connecticut customers won't be routed to a call center in India when the lights go out. Our job is to make sure that the applicable st service standards are achieved. It so happens they have informed me that they have no intention at this time uh, of moving a call center. The company says customers will not notice the change and that laid off employees will be offered generous separation deals and 40 will be hired by the two Indian firms. Part of our merger was prediction of savings um, over a 10 year period of time and this is part of that cost savings. But just how much impact this cost savings will have on that big rate hike request next year right now is unknown. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.